Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about wool in more detail. So we will see how is wool obtained, how exactly wool is processed. So we will talk about all that. So first let us talk about the sources of wool. From where do we get wool? As I said, these are obtained from animals. So from which part of animal do we get wool? It is obtained from the hair of animals. Hair means these. there are a lot of animals which have hair all over their body. Like in case of human beings, we also have hair, a lot of hair on our head. But other than that also, we also have body hair, right? But we do not have much body hair. But if you look at a ship, it has like a, a, a fur-like structure all over its body. Now, why does it have that kind of um, um, fur all over its body or that kind of hair? Because it keeps them warm. Now, this enables them to survive in extremely cold places. So... When we want wool, what is done is that hair of the on the animal's body along with a very thin layer of skin is taken out. Now, it doesn't harm the animal. It doesn't hurt the animal. That's because that topmost layer of the skin is like dead skin. So, even if you remove it, it doesn't hurt at all. So, now, since uh, we want to get wool, so these kind of wool would be seen only in case of fat animals. So, the, it is obtained from skin of fat animals. And whenever we think of wool, the first thing that comes to our mind is, I mean, when we talk about source of wool, the first animal that strikes our mind is white sheep. But in reality, wood can be obtained from many other animals as well. For example, yak, goat camel etc now this wool which is obtained from these animals it can range from soft and silky silk uh, to some coarse and strong wools as well so some wools can be soft some of them can be silky while some others can be rough and strong as well so there are different varieties of wool that can be obtained from different animals because not on not all animals have the same kind of skin hair so different animals will have different types of skin hair and that's how you will have different types of wool right wool is normally compressed into small folds so that it helps to spin the fibers so that the wool fibers can stay together and that's how it can form wool and then that wool can be woven together to form a sweater or a jacket or any other garment so this is how uh, we obtain wool from the skin of fat animals now, as i said different animals will give different wool and different types of wool are used for different purposes for example these soft and silky wools can be used for clo making clothes maybe sweaters jackets caps etc whereas the rough and strong wools can be made can be used for making rugs to uh, to be used as blanket to cover ourselves so let us talk about some of the popular wool animals. So these are those animals which can give us wool. So the most common wool animal is the sheep. So sheep can produce many different types of wool like uh, fine wool which can be used for clothing for making clothes, fine wool, it can also produce medium to coarse wool, uh, which can again be used uh, for making wool yarns. It can also produce the spun thread, which can be used for knitting, weaving, sewing, etc. So, sheep can actually produce a, a lot of varieties of wool, which can be used for many different purposes. Now, not only wood, uh, sheep, but goats can also produce different varieties of wool. Now, there are different types of goats which produce different types of wool. For example, uh, the Pashmina shawls, which are very popular from the Kashmir's. So, that also comes from the Kashmiri goats. So, Pashmina is one such example. So, if you would have ever seen a Pashmina shawl or a Pashmina uh, sweater so you would have seen that the wool is very very soft it is very soft at the same time it is very warm so it, it's very soft and light but it's very warm so like it has both the advantages 
there is also another type of goat called the angora goats from where uh, we get another type of wool which is called mohair llamas are again which are very common in south america they uh, look like somewhat like camels they also produce a coarse wool but this wool is produced only once a year so this wool is very hard and coarse and therefore can be used for making ropes or rugs so rugs are nothing but thick woolen covers which are generally used for wrapping the entire body mostly during traveling so they do not produce fine and soft wool instead they produce coarse and rough wool camels are again another uh, type of wool animals in fact uh, here in india we think that camels do not produce wool but a lot of camels produce wool especially in uh, north africa middle east uh, central asia however they are little less known for their wool when compared to goats or sheep uh, they are mostly used for uh, giving wool in china so uh, the camel wool is uh, used to make scarves gloves uh, jackets and all these things so this is also quite popular but little less popular in india yaks are another wool animals which are used to produce a uh, rough and coarse wool so you see these are mostly the common wool animals and all of them produce different types of wool in fact the same animal can have different varieties for example some goats produce pashmina wool some other goats produce some other type of wool and so on so different animals will produce different type of wool and though then depending upon the type of wool that is obtained they are used for different purposes also Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.